red foxes are more than a month old. They are now allowed to venture out. The hard-working parents are nocturnal hunters. Having fed their young, they need to rest in the burrow during the daytime. Without their parents watching, the Fox brothers frolic freely. The marmot looks aggressive. It's much bigger than the fox cubs. The red fox sometimes bullies the marmot and eats its offspring. Despite being an herbivore, the marmot can relentlessly fight back. The fox's den was actually built by marmots. From May to June, foxes embrace their breeding season on the plateau. They are prone to seizing marmot burrows as their own nurseries. The adult marmot is bigger than the adult red fox, which allows the latter to sprint freely into the spacious burrow, henceforth its favorite nursery. The large mound on the grassland was once a marmot gathering spot. A large marmot family was the former owner. The fox parents commandeer the apex mansion. Fortunately, the gentle marmots aren't really vindictive. Both marmots and the little foxes share the mound area and bathe in the morning sun. In the open grassland, a bird's cry is heard in the distance. The faraway crow seems to awaken the fox's wild instinct. It decides to go hunting. The fox cub has more to learn about hunting. But driven by instinct, it resolutely marches forward. The red fox and the crow are rivals. They often fight ferociously for animal carcasses. Red foxes are rarely seen hunting crows, but that doesn't mean they're pals. When the opportunity comes, they show no mercy. It's a successful attempt. Its bravery is rewarded. The carnivore's nature is engraved into the fox's genes. The poor crow becomes its toy. They aren't hungry for now. The scramble and frolic is practice for future predation. In two months, they will live independently and grow to be real hunters on the grassland. <laughs>